Okie doke. Just making a short video of my project fully integrated. Not fully working yet, but all of my microcontroller blocks here. So we got the range, the ambient light, display controller, uh, the accelerometer controller, and the GPS controller all connected to the main controller back here. And as you can see, everything's wired up. It's all color coded, a little hard to tell, but we've got the uh, black wire here is the serial clock, the red wire is the MISO or master in, slave out, and the yellow wire is the MOSI, master out, slave in. So each, uh, each part follows that same wiring convention with the colors. It's kind of crazy, but each one does that. All of the uh, network, the spy bus network connections are isolated from the microcontrollers with 4.7k ohm resistors. This allows me to connect the in-system serial programmer, this thing, directly to the microcontroller right here. It's a little hard to see, but I can connect the ISP wires here directly to the micro without having to disconnect everything from the spy bus network so this allows both to exist in the same circuit but in this case only this micro is going to get programmed because this reset pin is the only one tied here anyways the five slave selects with blue wires are connected here to their appropriate pins on the main controller uh, they go here just so the logic analyzer can see them all and then each slave select is broken out to the appropriate slave device so as you can see here this one happens to be the accelerometer slave select and over here we've got the various other ones it's a little bit crazy to see but yeah um, the logic analyzer got sticking in my breadboard here just so I can easily analyze all my signals coming in and going out. Um, I have a little breakout board that I made myself for the RS-232 communications with the display panel. So this is connected to my display controller. This is a UART TTL level UART coming into a MAX-232 chip which translates it from this is a 0 to 3.3 volt or 5 volt signal and this is a negative 10 to positive 10 volt signal coming out to here so we got some power wires up here to to my power supply so this is the RS-232 output and that's driving my display here um, looks a little crazy right now because not everything's tweaked but Right now, data is getting to the display controller, and the display controller is trying to put it up here, but I think the values are just getting updated too fast to the point where some garbage values are coming through and, you know, some craziness is going on. So, <clears throat> you can see here, um, the Z-axis has not been playing nice lately, but if I turn my board up on the side like this, which happens to be the Y-axis, You'll see that occasionally the y-axis will pop up with plus 1g. And it's all over the place, but it does occasionally come up with plus 1g, which if you look at the PCB here, this is the positive direction of the y-axis that's going down. So, ostensibly we have 1g of gravity, so seems to be working alright. Um, Rangefinder is not connected right now, but you see what I'm talking about with garbage values, it's not even connected and still shooting out all this, all these numbers. As with the ambient light, if I cover up my CDS photo cell here, the ambient light value goes to a rather high value, indicating very little light, and if I let go, it goes to a lower value. Again, a lot of garbage values going across the communication bus. Um, this is data coming through from the GPS module. Again, a lot of garbage values, but it is communicating. Um, 
still need some tweaks but you can tell that you know this is the only way that a cheap a uh, heads up display would work is with a nice bright display like this so that's a basic short tour showing my project integrated not really fully working I suppose but integrated together everything's connected and it is communicating all right good times